Hey, this is Tracy Lewis with Stuff and Things with episode 11 of my card walkthroughs. Of these cards that I created January and February, this particular card was created as a shoebox swap. This was Libby's swap that she brought. And she had some different choices of the way, I think we could have done it, a vertical card or a horizontal. I chose a horizontal because I always do vertical, so I wanted to change things up for myself. And it is a fancy fold. This is a belly band trim, and this trim is current in the mini catalog. It comes as a combo with red, and this, is, I think it's called burlap. But I really like it. If you look at it up close, it has the stitching, so it has the nice added details to it. So this particular fancy fold is actually pretty simple. And it just, you open it up and you can write your, your note in here. I still have some dimensions I can erase um, that we used to do the scoring. It has a horizontal a vertical and a diagonal and then you can fold it one of two ways for vertical and horizontal and I liked how this looked. This particular paper is from By the Sea which is that wonderful paper that I shared with you either an episode or two I can't remember ago and the sentiment is one of the bigger ones let's see if I have it handy here I can't remember what it is called, but it is a wonderful set of large sentiments. It is called Biggest Wish. So you get a the same five words in a cursive, kind of a bouncy cursive, and then in a bold, narrow, tall font so that you can stamp them together to create your sentiment. And the Pelican. I'm trying to think. I have this. I own this set. Waves of Inspiration is what this is from. I will have the full supplies list over on my blog. Everything on here is current. The annual catalog items retire in April and same with the mini catalog. So the By the Sea retires in April. Same time frame for both. The small clouds are from Waves of inspiration, same with the little little birds in stamped in Night of Navy. Very simple but effective card. Notice we don't even have any any bling on it, but it is not too fat to put bling on. It could definitely have a couple of you know, a couple of pearls or colored pearls, whatever uh, you would want. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this particular project, you can leave them here on this video or over on my blog. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.